Ronnie had everything. Ronnie had everything. He had a big, beautiful house where he lived with his mom and his dad. Ronnie had everything. This house had lots of rooms. And he even had a playroom with a jungle gym inside of it. And toys and toys and toys. Ronnie had everything. He had, he had a dog named Happy. And she always was. Oh, Ronnie had everything and how happy he was with all the things he had in his house. But outside, he had a fort and the fort had a telescope on it and he could climb up into the fort and he could look for the enemy. Ronnie loved that fort. Ronnie had everything. He had, he had a swimming pool in the summertime and that swimming pool, he would slide down the slippery slide all the way till he went splash into the water. Wow, what a great place he had. Ronnie really, really, really liked his home. You know, Ronnie had lots of toys all around, but his favorite toy, his favorite toy of all, it was a red, shiny fire engine. Ronnie loved that fire engine. It had a steering wheel. It had a button to push to make it go. It had, it had a place for his feet to go to push the pedals. It had lights that flashed, and it had a siren. Oh, he loved that fire engine. And every night before he went to bed, he made sure his fire engine was back in the garage. And then he would get down a rag, a nice soft one from his dad's rag bag, and he would wipe it all off to make sure it stayed nice and clean and shiny down the street. Oh, and by the way, when friends came over, they could play with it if they were very, very, very careful. Down the street from where Ronnie lived, he had his school. Oh, what a school he had. There was a playground, and in the playground there were swings, and there were, there were monkey bars, and there were slides, and there was a big giant sandbox, and there were bikes, and there were scooters, and there were wagons, Oh, there was so much to do. What a great school. And inside, there were toys, lots of games, and lots of toys for kids to play with. It was a great place. There were all kinds of things, blocks and trucks and cars, just lots of things. And there was a teacher who taught him about numbers and counting and taught him about letters and shapes and colors. Wow, what a great school. And Mrs. Wilson, his teacher, she could tell the best stories because she told them from God's book, the Bible. Oh, Ronnie loved his school. One day, his teacher, Mrs. Nelson, told him, Mrs. Wilson told them, I have the very best story today. This story is the true story of Christmas. Oh, I know you probably know about the wise men and the shepherds, right? And you know about the angels. And you know about Mary and Joseph, right? And you know about baby Jesus. Well, Mrs. Wilson told him, you know something? God sent his only son. His son. Annie listened to the story as the teacher told how God gave his best gift. God sent Jesus to be our friend as well as our savior. And then Mrs. Wilson said, you know what, boys and girls? I want you to remember this. God gave his best. Now, I want you to think about that because tomorrow I want you to come back and tell me what you would give if you could give your best gift. Hmm. The children were thinking, and, and Ronnie thought about that in the afternoon. What would be my best gift? When he went home... He ran right into the house and he went into his playroom. And in his playroom, he looked around at all these things that he had. He had everything. And then he got an idea. What would be a best gift? So he went into the kitchen where his mother was fixing some food. And he said, Mom, do we have any boxes? She said, yes, out of the garage. Go see if there's some out there. Do you need one or more? Just one, he said. That'll be fine. And he went out to the garage and he picked out a box and he brought it to the play 
into the playroom, and he set it down. And when he set it down, he looked around in his playroom. Oh, there were some broken toys. He never played with those. He picked them up and put them into the box. There were some cars and trucks. They had no wheels, or only two or three. He picked those up and put them into the box. Hmm. Oh, those puzzles. Some of the puzzles have not enough pieces to even finish. He picked those up. And what about those books that he'd only looked at once? He took those and put him in the box. And now the box was bulging with toys and books and puzzles. And he carried them into the kitchen. And his mother looked at this box. Ronnie, what are you doing? Well, he said, our teacher today at school talked about how we should give good gifts because God gave us the best gift and how we should give good gifts to others. And she told us to think about what we would give. And, and I got thinking about a boy in our class. His name is David. And David doesn't have any toys. I mean, he doesn't have very many, Mom. And I was thinking, since I don't play with these toys, he might like to have these toys. And so I'm going to take them to David. The mother looked at him and looked at the box and said, but Ronnie, they're broken. I know, he said, I won't even miss them. <laughs> Ronnie said, Mom, I think we're missing something here about this story. Ronnie, when God sent Jesus, it was the best gift. Remember what the Bible says in John 3, 16? For God so world that he gave his only begotten son. Ronnie, that's his only son. This is, this is special. This is beyond anything that you can imagine. Ronnie, God gave his son to the world to be our friend and our savior. Oh, said Ronnie. So, huh, okay. And he picked up the box and he carried it back to the, to the playroom. And, and he set the box down. And then he went into his bedroom and he lay on his bed. And, and he began to think, hmm, hmm. God, I don't know. Help me, God, to know what would be the best gift. You know I love you and I want to give a best gift like you give. I don't know how. How can I give a best gift if I don't know what would be a best gift? God, help me. <gasps> and then he got an idea. And when he got that idea, do you know what he did? He ran into the kitchen. Mom, mom, I know what the best gift is. I know what to give David. I'm going to give him my fire engine. His mother stood staring at him, shocked. Ronnie, that's your favorite toy. I know, Mom, my very favorite. And, and it could be David's favorite, too. Ronnie, are you sure? Yes, Mom, I'm sure. That's the best gift. Mom smiled at Ronnie, put her hand on him and said, you really are learning about how God wants you to be like him proud of you, Ronnie. And Ronnie smiled. And mom said, Ronnie, do you know there are other ways to give best gifts too? There's things like that smile you just gave me. That's a best gift. And there's things like big hugs and love. And there's things like being a friend to David. That's a best gift. Yeah, he said, I could give one of those. Hmm. And then he grabbed his mother and he hugged her tight and smiled and left and went out to the garage. And he got out one of those rags from his dad's rag bag and he looked at the fire engine and he started rubbing it nice and clean and shiny and red. And he smiled as he thought about how much David was going to love this. You can go to your seats.